this property here is my father's room from the Sugar Estates. My father died, so I became the owner and I give it to one of my sons who's a partner now. So we do pottery here. So this is from generation to generation. To well, my, my grandfather is from India. He used to do pottery. Um, he never knew anything about English language. I went there as a small boy, you know, used to play around with the clay. He used to go make a little board and so on, things like that. Well, he used to tell me, say, CK, CK, which means to learn, learn to make something out of the clay. But I said, well, you know why, that's nonsense, I don't want to do pottery, I don't want to hold clay. So, okay, I go around, go around with him, and he used to do the work, do the work on the hand wheel, which you saw over there. That is original, what he used to do for me. Okay, as I started to grow up, I'd go to school, finish schooling, where there was no, nothing to do, I went to his workplace. Right here on the weekend, I'm at his place. And I started to go on the wheel, spin, make pots, break his pots, and then get very angry with him. He'll talk to me in Hindi, Kavadar, you know, that means be careful. So I have to be careful with that. Well, the boys, I have three of them. They started to go to school, you know, and then uh, they said, well, they were not so brilliant at school. So I said, well, look, here's an opportunity to do pottery. I started with the big one first, and he made pots, and the second one, and then the third one. So you have to say it's a, it's a pottery family. My wife, she do hand decorating. The children are small, you know, mm -hmm. but now they get big, so I decide to do something in it because I learned from him too. Mm -hmm. I thought I was the best. And of course, I didn't know anything about Barbados doing pottery. It was very amazing to me to see potters making big pots like myself. Plenty of things I learned over there. I got this idea from Barbados today. Now you have a big difference in the pot. Well, formerly it was like this. And then you have the, in the advanced stage now, you have a pot like this. So if I can do glazing, it will be more money. So all of these I learned when I was in Fairfield Pottery, St. Michael. I didn't do this before. I just make the pass like that and, you know, finish. Diwali gone, right? The boys make the yes with Diwali. I can't do it because a lot of energy is coming out. Oh. I give up. So the boys do it, all three of them do it and they... People buy it here, you can enjoy it, you make a couple thousand from it. For 40, 30,000 years. Mm -hmm. Wholesale. Mm -hmm. You come in and buy by the thousand, you just pack it and you give it in the ground. My donkey charge, so he's telling, he's still telling. And there is a boat there, you load it on the boat, and you go take it away to Georgetown. But most of the business is in Georgetown. I, I, I don't go with the boat though, because I feel the boat sinks well, I go, I go down. It happened one time, the boat with the whole stuff gone down the road. Hmm. Such is the strength of tradition that with it, the Jyotis family of Wakenham, Essequibo River, Guyana, could transcend adversity and sustain life on, on into, into the, the future. future.